See, life as you know it won't always be easy. It's going to have its moments for the good times and the bad. See, everyone knew me as this great, fantastic football player on that field. But off the field, I had a trouble pass. As you can see, I followed in my father's footsteps. See, my father, he was this fantastic football player just like I was. But he let the streets get a hold of him. He just could never let go. In them streets, he always got to have someone that you can trust. Somebody that you know is going to have your back. For me, I had that since kindergarten, my day one. This was me and Trey. Like I said, we grew up from my sandbox days. The thing about Trey, Trouble always just seemed to follow this kid. So he was always beefing with the boys from the neighborhood. So one night, they caught up to him. He says, I was at a party. And all of a sudden, I hear gunshots. I remind myself every day. If I ever caught the guys that did this, yeah, no explanation is needed. Bro, what the f Bro, hold on, bro. Paramedics are en route to your current location. Bro, I can't believe this. As I said earlier, life as you know it isn't always easy. Two weeks later, I lost my father in the drug bus going really bad. In broad daylight. A part of me is saying get back. Other half of me is saying stay focused. Stay focused on the game that I love. But as of right now, I don't know. I still need a lot of time to think about what I'm gonna do. Until then, no more training, no more football. I just need to think things through. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yo, Keon, hit me back when you get this, bro. So, let me catch all up to what's happened. You see, Trey's older brother heard about what happened to his little brother. And he did not take that lightly. He wanted to know immediately who done, who shot and killed his brother. Being that I wasn't talking to nobody shut down from the world, he had a hold of my mother. My mother let him know what happened and... He took man into his own hands. A few hours later, he figured out where those same dudes was hiding at. And so let's just say, he took man into his own hands. I thought about doing it, but I didn't want to mess up my football future. So, yeah, y'all know what happened next. Hey, that get back a bitch, ain't it, nigga? I returned to the football field and we won state. Now for my teammates, I was happy for them. They will sign the division one offers. For me, I was left with none. So I was forced to walk on on at Nichols State University, down in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Now I knew I had to make the most of every opportunity that I had playing on this team. And that I did. Led the team in tackles for losses, tackles, interceptions. I just had the instincts that, that you look for in a football player. Hell, I even landed at a corners back spot from time to time. And ultimately, that landed a lot of offers from a lot of Power 5 schools. Now, even though it was one year, I hit the transfer portal. Now, at this point, I could pretty much sign with any school I wanted to, being that I was number one player in the transfer portal. The one school that taught them all more than any other one was... Hey, Keon. Now, yo, who is this? I definitely don't recognize this phone number. It's Coach Will Harris of the Florida Gators. Oh, okay. Um, what's, what's going on, Coach? What can I help you with? Hey, has any other programs been in contact with you lately? 
I mean, there's been two other programs, you know, Boston College, Syracuse, but that's about it. All right, listen. I've been watching and studying your film at Nicholas State, and I'd like to say that you're the kind of player that we would love to have here at the University of Florida. I mean, your ball skills are off the charts for a guy your size. You're a sure tackler. You could play nickel corner if we needed you. So if nobody has offered you yet, let me be the first to offer you a full-ride scholarship to the University of Florida. What do you say? I say I'm all in, Coach. To play for a program like University of Florida, take that program to New Heights. Like I say, I'm all with it. So consider me in. And just like that, I signed the University of Florida. Now, I have a long way to go, but y'all yeah, know I'm willing to put in that work to get to the top. I can still remember the first uh, practice we had when we got here, and I was asking about you know, that guy. You know, he's not <laughs> on the scholarship. You know, and he looked as good or better than some of our guys. So, I mean, so good example of a guy who works extremely hard, uh, has really opened up um, relative to communicating being vocal, uh, having good presence, and bottom line, the guy's been a very productive player. So he's got traits, and this guy's big, and he is, uh, he's long, and he's very skilled. All right, listen, nobody wants to lose to the in-state rival, as we lost 24-16 to to a rival University of Miami, and that falls us to 1-1 one one on the season. And next time schedule, it's a home game against Tennessee. We drop two in a row. We lose 31 to 21. But for our next game, we finally got back on track as we pulled off a win against Kentucky at their house. So it's definitely a good feeling as we end up winning, dominating 41 to 10. And much need to win to stay alive in the SEC East. We end up pulling off the win against the 4 1 Arkansas Razorbacks, 38 to 28. Now, this team here, this team has always given us problems. The LSU Tigers. But unfortunately, we end up losing by a score, 20 to 13, in depth value. And this losing stuff, I definitely wasn't used to it. As we end up dropping another loss against Missouri. As I say, this losing stuff, I can't get down with it. But unfortunately, most important game on our schedule against 2 and 5, 1 and 4 Georgia Bulldogs. <laughs> Let's just say, well, coming to this game, we played hard every four quarters but unfortunately we did not pull off the w that's a late turner in a cost in this game 17 to 21. a couple of big plays against vanderbilt definitely helped our chances to win this game and to save the intercept in the past and your boy montreal johnson took it to the house and they ended up stamping our win against vanderbilt you just definitely love to see it as we barely won 25 to 28. Now, if we want any shot of kind of making any kind of bowl game, we definitely had to win out on this down stretch. And so we ended up winning 19 to 21 against South Carolina. Now, I guess it less an opponent that we supposed to dominate. And we did that. So I got a big hit on a lot of special team plays. It definitely felt good. Got a mop up duty right here. Show flashes of what's to bring for the for me to bring to this team. Now we did against a lesser opponent, but I feel like with a young team that we have, and we continue to dominate like this as we get a sack, our future is bright. As I ended the game with two tackles, one tackle for loss. Another big in-game state rivalry. This team is Florida State. <laughs> we did not like them. They didn't like us. As I got a couple big hits in the game, but that didn't matter. We ended up dropping six and six on the season. But luckily enough, we made a bowl game. The bowl game is against 75 Houston. Now coming to this game, I got a little bit more playing time than I normally did, so that definitely felt good. As we get a huge tackle for loss right there. Seven seven ball game right here. I made my first in-game tackle. Let's just say it definitely felt good. Right here, the quarterback trying to take off, and like I say, this young team. We are hungry moving forward, and I feel like I can definitely lead this defense. And the main reason why I committed to the University of Florida, not only was it going to use me as safety, cornerback, and linebacker. Kind of a versatile player, a versatile Swiss Army knife, and I definitely love that. And I get my second tackle of the game. The first and 10, we are dying by four. We've been in this position before, but with me on the field, 
anything is possible. As you get a last sack on that last play right here, you just can't teach that. Look at all those blue jerseys, man. As I keep saying, this young defense definitely looking bright for the future. As we are down by one, and this defense come up with a huge sack late in the third quarter. I'm off the corner right here. Third tackle of the game, as I say. I'm going to need this defense one way or another. And right here, we get a huge fumble. And Kelby Collins could not take it all the way, but that's okay. And the offense came up clutch, and we up by seven. So right now, it's just up to the defense to go out here and make plays. And we definitely willing up to that challenge. But first and ten, the offense is marching. And get another tackle for loss. This has been an interesting season for me. And moving forward, I know once I get in that starting lineup, this team is going to be great. This defense is going to be amazing. So y'all let me know that I might the right decision coming to University of Florida. More playing time is on the way, man. Like, comment, subscribe on the channel. I apologize for this late. Y'all have to wait for this series, but was it worth the wait? It's your boy CRE, and I'm gone.